Hey guys, welcome back to another Minecraft World War II vehicle tutorial. In today's tutorial, we're going ahead and doing the BM-13 Katusha on the chassis of the Zis 6 No dimensions are available, unfortunately, for this. Its role was a multiple rocket launcher, and the number built is unknown. Uh, armaments, it has basically, the, the truck has the Katusha launcher on it, so just one armament. Here's the engine for the Zis 6 and its performance speed max speed was 55 kilometers per hour and that's about it so enjoy the tutorial guys hello ladies and gentlemen this is here to before you're bringing you into our minecraft World War 2 vehicle tutorial in today's tutorial we're going ahead and doing the katusha rocket launcher now the katusha here is basically built upon the uh, basically a truck so basically many of the soviet trucks during that time era uh, you know were used to put the katusha on Basically, the Katusha is the name for the rockets, uh, basically the rocket launcher that would be used to, uh, to basically, of course, launch rockets. So, it's pretty cool. And, um, yeah, so this truck right here is based off of um, that truck over there, which I forget the name. It escapes me at this moment. I forget the name, but it, it's a tr truck that I've redone uh, to, uh, for basically for the, uh, basically for a redo. I've done the tutorial for the truck in the past. Uh, but I went ahead and basically used that model over there to kind of go ahead and move uh, Move over to the truck here But this one has uh, two wheels in the rear instead of just the one or basically two axles. I should say um, So that's pretty cool. That's pretty much the only difference between the trucks really most of the body is still the same uh, But anyways, uh, this vehicle has been kind of requested a lot by you guys recently So I decided to go ahead and do a tutorial now. I built this in a live stream a few weeks ago So again Check out my uh, Twitch channel where you can see live streams and stuff like that, uh, in which I built a lot of these vehicles, and uh, it's uh, pretty fun. We have a good time. So be sure to go ahead and drop by if you uh, have some spare time and I'm live streaming. Uh, but anyways, let's, let's go ahead and take a look at the uh, the truck and the Katusha and all that stuff and um, get a good idea of what we're going to be building today. So uh, basically, to start off in the front here, the front of the truck, very nice. You got the front bumper, uh, the uh, radiator right there, and a little button there. Uh, just for a little bit of detailing there. I didn't like to put all the ladders up in the front there. I thought it looked a little strange. So I put a button there. Maybe like the, it's like the manufacturer um, symbol or something like that. Uh, then on either side here, you've got the, uh, these wither skeleton skulls to represent the front headlights, which came out really nice. I like the way those look. So, again, little face on the back of them. Kind of funny there. Uh, now, uh, on the side here, you got the nice fenders. Kind of roll back here. I, lo I love the classic style of the trucks. I think it's just really cool the way the fenders are and all that stuff. So... Nice, uh, nice fenders that kind of wrap around over here. Uh, front wheel, our back wheel is back here, and um, all that stuff. Now these, uh, st these, uh, basically these uh, supports right here. These will only be deployed if you actually want to have this thing locked down and firing. So um, again, I'll kind of should mention that when I actually do or get to the tutorial part. So until then, uh, you know, I will be, I'll be telling you guys a little bit more about that. Uh, then up here, you got the cab of it. Nothing too fancy about that, and of course the uh, Katusha launcher here so basically rockets would be loaded back here and then there will be there was like two sets of tracks and they would basically fly off the tracks and be like rockets and you know it's a rocket artillery uh, truck so very cool um, overall I think the vehicle is uh, pretty nice and hopefully you guys do enjoy it I, I, I just love it you know it's always nice to have these new little support vehicles and stuff like that but anyways guys that's pretty much it for the Katusha rocket truck and let's go ahead and uh, move on to the tour by starting off with our first layer layer one. Alrighty guys, so going ahead and moving on to our first layer, layer one. Now for layer one, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and start off by placing down a block of coal, which is going to be our wheel, whatever material you want to use for a wheel. Go ahead and uh, use that. You guys can use black wool, whatever. I'm going to be using a block of coal. I think that looks nicest for the wheels. So uh, for me, I'm going to place down a block of coal like that. That's going to be the right front tire. So you guys can kind of see, looking at this from above, the how big it is and uh, what you're going to be looking at for uh, the vehicle. So again, Make sure you take that into account. That's going to be the right front. So now we just want to go ahead and go three blocks out, or basically a total of four blocks. So you have a space of three in the middle. You're going to have a space of three, and then on the fourth block there, and there, uh, block of coal. Then from each of these blocks of coals, we're going to go ahead and go back one, two, three, four, five, six. And then on your seventh block, you're going to place down your block of coal. Same thing over here on this side. Skip a space of one, place down your block of coal for our rear tires, and then our front tires. So that's going to be our wheelbase for the vehicle. Now, to go ahead and move on from this, we're going to go ahead and go in between these two blocks of coals here, place down two stone brick, or sorry, three stone brick top slabs all the way across, and then coming off the front, we're going to place down a total of three of these uh, dark oak with top slabs like that. 
Now take our stone brick top size, we're going to go ahead and go back 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. So it hangs over by 1, past the tires, so like this. And then we just want to go ahead and place down a stone brick top slab, connecting the, the basically the blocks of coal to the center like that, and that's going to be basically the chassis of the truck. And uh, we're also going to throw in a fence gate right here, and an uh, open one like this, and a fence gate like this, and one like this. And this represents a little bit of a bar that kind of connects from the axle to uh, this. I can't for, I can't rem remember the name. I think you might have to do something with the uh, driving the wheel. I, I, I don't quite know, but, you know, I'm not a truck expert. So basically, that's what we have going on there. Now, going ahead and going over here to these uh, block, the block of coal blocks in the front, we're going to place down a, a uh, darker quick top set, followed by a second one. Delete the first one. And then you just want to place down one, two, two, three. So basically a total of four dark oak with top stabs. And same thing over here on this side. So just like that. And you should have something kind of looking like this from above. And the last thing we want to do is just go ahead and take some stone buttons, place it down on the block of coals. Just like that, all the way around on your tires, like that to represent the rims. And also, one thing you can do if you want to have this uh, truck look like it's, it's in the lockdown mode firing. You can go ahead and place down a cobblestone wall like this on either side. Those will represent the braces that would be that would uh, basically support the truck from the uh, recoil from the rocket launchers. So uh, you know you can do that. But if you have this truck in motion or driving a convoy or something, go ahead and get rid of those cobblestone walls because it wouldn't make sense for them dragging on the ground like that. So um, for this uh, tutorial, we'll just go ahead and put the cobblestone walls down uh, to match the one we have over there. So again, kind of up to you guys on what you guys do there. Now, uh, that guy's right there is pretty much it for layer 1, and with that, we can go ahead and move on to layer 2. Alrighty guys, so go ahead and move on to our next layer, layer 2. Now, for layer 2, what we want to do is we want to go ahead and start off by taking our uh, levers here, and we want to place down a lever, like this on the front, and on those front two dark oak top slabs on the either side, and then flick them back so they look like they connect up to the, to the main body. After this, you're going to place down a dark oak wood stair, like that, so it looks like it connects to the dark oak wood stairs, followed by a polished underside block in between the dark oak wood stairs with a ladder. And that's going to be your front uh, radiator. And then after you go ahead and do that, we're going to place down a... Actually, I forgot to grab it. We're going to place down a dark oak wood top slab. Can we get it? There we go. Dark oak wood top slab. We're just going to go ahead and place down a dark oak wood top slab like that, coming off the stair on either side for the fender. That kind of goes over like that. Now, after we do that, we want to go ahead and place down a dark oak wood stair that's like this at, after the uh, top slab there. So dark oak wood stair like that. And then we're just going to take our uh, green stain clay, which we're going to grab green stain clay over here. And we just want to go ahead and place down one green stain clay full block after that polished andesite block. And then we want to place down a dark oak wood corner stair like this. Oops, accidentally deleted above that block, my bad. So a dark oak wood corner stair like that. After you go ahead and do that, we're going to take our, dark, our green stain clay, place down a row of three, followed by a second row of three, third row, fourth and so on. So you're just going to take this and run this all the way along the back here, all the way like this, and have it stick out one like this. So basically it'll be one past that snow brick top slab. Or if you have the cobblestone walls down, it's going to be on top of the cobblestone walls. So all the way back like that. Now going ahead and going to the fenders of the rear tires, we're going to place down a dark oak wood stair like this, followed by one, two, and three dark oak wood top slabs, followed by another dark oak wood stair like that. We also want to take some green carpets and place it down on top of those dark oak wood top slabs right there. And same thing over here, we're going to go and repeat the same process. This vehicle is um, pretty much symmetrical besides the little detail bits like the tire right there and stuff like that. That's a little bit different, but the main body of it's all the same. So we have that like that. And then on the very back here, we're going to place down two levers like that. And that'll be part of these little thingies that are there in the back there. So that's what we got going on there. So that's basically the main, the main shape there for your second layer. Now, a few things you can do to kind of detail it up or add some variation to the build is uh, by adding on some of these little uh, external things that are kind of strapped to the uh, to kind of like this uh, fender here. So basically on the left or on the right side here, I went ahead and just put down a uh, birchwood plank like that and then a sign on it and then a pressure plate on top. And basically that's just like some kind of cargo or something on the side, maybe some ammunition or uh, something of some sort. And then over here on the left side, I went ahead and put down a spare tire, of course, spare tire in case they get a flat or something, especially in the battlefield be nice to uh, have a spare tire to change it out so that's uh, some things you can do there to kind of you know change the build up maybe variate it up but uh yeah that guy's right there's pretty much it for your second layer and with that we can go ahead and move on to layer three 
Alrighty guys, so go ahead and move on to layer 3. For layer 3, what we want to do is we want to go ahead and start off by going to the front up here, placing down a polished andesite full block on top of the one we placed in the previous layer. And then we're just going to place down a stone button coming off of it, like so. Going over here, we can go ahead and grab ourselves a wither skeleton skull and place down one on top of the uh, dark oak wood stair like that on your side to represent your front headlights. And after that, we want to go ahead and place down a green stained clay full block after the polished andesite full block. And we're just going to go ahead and place down a total of uh, two more. So you have a row of three here of green stained clay. Next to the last two green stained clay blocks, we're going to place down a dark oak wood, or two dark oak wood stairs like that. And then we also want to place down some green carpet on top of the dark oak wood top sub there in the very front to kind of keep that consistent green color with the vehicle. After we do that, we're going to go ahead and place down one and two green stained clay full blocks like that. One and two on this side as well. And we're going to go ahead and place down one like this so we can create a row of three and we have a little space in here though this place would be basically be where the driver would sit um again this would be a two-seater vehicle but minecraft there's only so much you can do there it's kind of limited in the size there so unfortunately it's only basically room for one person barely so after you go ahead and uh, do that we're going to place down a dark oak wood stair back here from the cab also a dark oak wood fence gate on either side like that then we want to place down a cobblestone wall on either side and then we can go ahead and place down two dark oak wood uh, fence gates and then another cobblestone wall on either side and um, then lastly we can go ahead and take a dark oak wood uh, fence gate or fence post sorry and put it down on top of the levers like that so it kind of looks like the levers connect up into it just like that and that right there is going to basically set up the base there for your Katusha rocket launcher and uh, that's going to pretty much be almost different layer 3. We have one last thing we need to do, which is just taking a stone button and place it down on that green stained clay block on your side to kind of represent the handle there to open the door. But that, yeah, that guy's right there is pretty much it for your third layer. And with that, we can go ahead and move on to layer 4. Alrighty guys, so going ahead and moving on to our next layer, layer 4. For layer 4, what we want to do is we want to go ahead and start off by taking some green carpet here. And we want to place down one on top of the polished andesite full block, followed by two and then three. So a total of three like that. After you go ahead and do that, we're going to go ahead and place down two light gray stained glass panes across like that. And of course, you guys can use whatever color stained glass you want. I like the light gray. I think it, it's uh, pretty nice. So, uh, you know, again, you guys can use whatever you want there. And then we just want to place down a light gray uh, stained, gla or stained, stained glass full block on uh, either side there. We can also place down one in the middle here if you don't plan on doing any kind of interior. Then uh, along the back here, we're going to place down a row three there of uh, green stained clay. And then coming back here to our, uh, basically where our rocket launcher is going to be, we're going to place down a cobblestone wall here on either side. Then on top of these uh, these dark oak wood fence gates, we're going to place down one more on top, and we're going to open it up like so, so it kind of sticks in toward the inside. And we want to go ahead and go over here and do the same thing. So just like that. And uh, then we want to go ahead and also grab ourselves some green carpet. One thing I forgot to do in the previous layer is go ahead and take some green carpet and put it down on top of the those... Um, fenders just like that so make sure you go ahead and do that then on the back here we're going to place down a cobblestone wall again on uh, either side there and we also actually sorry that's it for that and then on the very back here we just want to go ahead and place down three uh, stone brick top slabs like that to represent the rockets and then we just want to place down a dark oak wood fence gate basically coming off of it on either side or basically on all of them so just like this and uh should look something like that and have it opened up so it connects to the uh, stone brick top slabs like that. And uh, that guy's right there is pretty much it for your uh, fourth layer. And with that, we can go ahead and move on to layer five. Alrighty guys, so going ahead and move on to layer five. For layer five, what we want to do is we're going to go ahead and go to the front cab up here first. And up here in the front, we're just going to go ahead and place down some green carpet across those green stained clay full blocks. And then a row three here, green carpet across those uh, light gray stained glass full blocks as well. Then on the back here, we're gonna place down uh, some cobblestone, or sorry, stone brick, uh, half sabs like that. And then on either side here, we're gonna place down one and two dark oak wood half sabs that come off of them like that. And then taking iron trap doors, we're just gonna place down two iron trap doors in between them. And then going up, we're gonna go ahead and place down a upside down dark oak wood stair like that on top of the cobblestone wall. And same thing right here. Or actually, sorry, my bad. It's supposed to be flipped around the other way. So it's supposed to be flipped around. So it's like this, facing this direction like so. So just like that. Then we want to place down a dark oak wood top slab coming off the back of the, 
the uh, stair and then one coming off the front like that and then in between these uh d these uh, dark oak wood uh, top slabs here we're gonna go ahead and place down some iron trap doors just like that and uh that guy's right there is pretty much it for your fifth layer and with that we'll go ahead and move on to our last final layer layer six Alrighty, guys so going ahead and moving on to layer six for layer six what we want to do is we want to go ahead and start off by taking some stone buttons here and we're just going to place down a stone button on top of those dark oak wood top slabs just like that then coming off of them we're going to go ahead and place down a dark oak wood half slab followed by a second one and same thing like that so just like that on either side and then in between them again we're going to place down two iron trap doors just like that and that guy's right there is pretty much it for the katusha rocket artillery um, overall, I think it's a very nice little build and will make a fine addition to any uh, Soviet vehicles or Soviet battle map you guys are making. So hope you guys do enjoy it. And there goes my phone. Holy crap. So hopefully you guys do enjoy the tutorial. And uh, what is that thing I see in the distance? I don't, I'm not quite sure. Not quite sure. Looks pretty cool though. But anyways, I uh, hope you guys did enjoy the, enjoy the tutorial. If you guys do end up uh, using this vehicle, be sure to put it... Uh, Give, give me proper credit. Jeez, I can lose my train of thought here. My phone goes off. Lose my train of thought. Be sure to give me proper credit for this design. This me, this can uh, be anything from a sign on the build to link to my channel or this video. If this does appear on any social media sites, just be sure I get proper credit for the build. That's all I ask for when doing these tutorials. And uh, also be sure to suggest what World War II vehicles you want to see next time. And I will uh, try to get to them as soon as possible. But uh, other than that, guys, that's it for me. Thank you guys for watching. As always, if you like, comment, and subscribe. This has been Garrett 2x4, and I'll see you guys next time.